I recently watched a couple of videos on the American moon landings and the evidence to support the theory that the manned landings on the moon were faked. One of these was A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon by Bart Winfield Sibrel. The other was this one, Did They Land on the Moon? The following program deals with a controversial subject. Both programs dealt with essentially the same evidence. How did the astronauts survive going through the Van Allen belt? Some theorize that if the Van Allen belts didn't kill the astronauts, even deadlier doses of radiation deeper in space would have. The US flag blowing in a non-existent wind. If there is no air or wind on the moon, why is this American flag waving? The fact that the flag flaps on the moon where there's no atmosphere means that there must have been a little blast of wind out in Area 51 where they shot this. The lack of any kind of blast crater under the landing vehicle. The fact that there's no blast crater under the limb is one of the most conclusive pieces of evidence that I find supporting the hoax. In fact, no sign of a blast crater is visible for any of the six lunar landings. And the massive mismatch of shadows and lighting in all the photos. Unfortunately, errors were made which are now being discovered. Conspiracy theorists point out that lighting is a major flaw in the lunar photos. Case in point. On the moon, the astronauts' only source of light was the sun. They had no extra lighting, uh, no flashes or things like that. Yet in this photograph from Apollo 14, the shadows are cast in different directions, suggesting multiple light sources. All of it was compelling evidence. However, as I watched, I couldn't believe what I was seeing as it seemed to me that both programs missed the most amazing evidence available, staring everyone right in the face. If these moon landings actually happened, can anyone explain how it is that in every shot of these astronauts moving on the moon, every bit of dust stirred up by them and their vehicles immediately falls back to the surface, just like it would, say, on a beach? This is fine dust in a weightless environment. This defies the laws of physics. So ask yourself, if they'll fake that, what won't they do?